Thank you for watching this Hexagon Geospatial eTraining module, Getting Started with MapChest. This video shows various workflows of MapChest, such as creating folders, uploading data, compressing imagery, and publishing as web services. Log into the Map Exchange at store.hexagongeospatial.com, select the My Apps tab, and then click MapChest. Click New Folder. Because we're at the root level, the new folder will be at the root level. Enter Cherokee Imagery for the folder name. Enter eTraining in the description field. MapChest creates the new folder and opens it. You can tell your current location and navigation using the folder path. You can create additional folders when you upload content. Back in the root directory, click the checkbox of the Las Vegas folder to select it. Click the Properties panel on the left. The panel opens and shows the folder name, description, registration date, and other information. Click Delete from the Properties panel and confirm deletion to remove this folder. Click Refresh and notice that the Las Vegas folder was removed. Now upload content to the new folder. Click on the Cherokee Imagery folder to open it. Notice the folder path that shows the full path. Click Upload. In the New Folder field, enter ECW. This creates a new folder for the content to upload. Click Add Files and navigate to the content to upload. Select the files. Be sure to select any auxiliary files, such as AUX, RRD, and World Files. There is no limit to the number of files that you can upload. However, you can only upload from one location at a time. To load content from another location, select Add Files again and navigate to the other location. Select all the files and then click Upload. Depending on the number of files, file size, and network speed, this may take some time. Click the Tasks panel to see the progress of the upload. When the upload is complete, click Refresh to see the new content. Thumbnails display for the image content along with the file name, type, location, and registration date. Next, publish the content so that it can be used as a web service. Click the checkbox on the tile to be published and then click Publish in the Properties panel. By default, EPSG 4326 and the EPSG code of the dataset is used. If you want to use additional reference systems, you must enter the CRS as a defined EPSG code with each code separated by a comma. You cannot use ESRI, WKID, or other codes. Also, you can change the capabilities title to better describe the image. Once complete, click Publish. A progress message displays during the publish process. Once content is published as a service, the Publish icon changes to the Unpublish icon. Unpublish removes the published services, but does not remove the content. In addition, the Preview icon is now available. Click Preview to see the image inside a map. Zoom and pan the image to review the WMS service and verify the look and placement of the image. The preview map also provides links to the WMS and WMTS Get Capabilities documents. When you are finished previewing, click outside the preview window to go back to MapChest. Now it's time to compress the image to reduce the file size and free storage space and thereby reduce storage costs. In the folder path, click the Cherokee Imagery link to move up a folder. Click the TIFF folder. Click the checkbox on the tile and click Compress in the Properties panel. Enter the name of the output file. Select ECW3 for the output type. Select the default for the target compression. Refer to the documentation for complete information on target compression rates. Click Compress to begin the compression. Click the Tasks panel to see the status of the compression. Notice the Progress message and then the Completion message. Click X to close the completion message. Click Refresh to see the compressed image in the same location as the original image. Next, Download Content. Click the checkbox on the tile and click Download in the Properties panel. First, the download zips the data. Click the Tasks panel to view the progress. When the notification message opens, click Click to Download to begin the process. If prompted, enter the file name and location to save the file. Otherwise, the content downloads to your download folder. Data holdings in an organization can grow large quite fast, and in order to find specific content, you can search or sort content. Click Root in the folder path. 
Click All to refresh the page and show all folders and content of MapChest in a flat file list. Click Filter to show the folders, images, point clouds, documents, and features filter options. By default, all options are selected. Deselect features, documents, and point clouds, and leave folders and images selected. Next, to sort by, use the drop-down to select registration date and descending to sort the search results in descending order by registration date. Thank you for watching this e-training module from Hexagon Geospatial. For more e-training, visit hexagongeospatial.com/e-training.